Hello and welcome to this new video in which I will try and show you how to create a uh, management console for your uh, Zigbee uh, network, uh, specifically using uh, Zigbee to MQTT and Node-RED for creating a dashboard. And I am using Node-RED with the uh, Zigbee to MQTT admin panel from Ben uh, well, on GitHub, which is also listed on the Zigbee to MQTT.io website. All right, so uh, let's start. Uh, we need to uh, connect via PuTTY to our Raspberry Pi. Uh, I have already done that. And then we need to install Node-RED. So we go over here and running it on a Raspberry Pi. It is just as easy as running this command, paste it and let it do its thing. It, well, is as easy as that. It can take a little while, but, well, that's just it. So let's wait. All right, now that that's done, we uh, have Node-RED installed and we can go to the IP address of our Raspberry Pi and use the port 1880 to uh, connect so let me look up my ip address uh, right i forgot one step which is uh well not really uh we need to uh run it as a service because uh, then it will run at boot which is much more convenient so we need to copy this command into it and then type sudo service node node-red start for node-red to start up and if i refresh my page i it should work let's see status it is active running am i doing something horribly wrong one eight eight zero yes i had to be more patient so i already imported the flow but I will show how to do it for you. So we create a new flow uh, by uh, clicking the plus sign, then double clicking and well, renaming it uh, zig b uh, dashboard or something. And then we're done. All right. Now we need to uh, go to the GitHub page and click the flow thing and we need to copy all of this gibberish so let's do that all right now we have selected copy we need to go into here and i am going to get the I need to go to settings, manage pal, uh, import the flow into the thing. So we need to import. Let's see, how did we do that again? <laughs> because uh, it has been a little bit of time since I have done that. Right, first of what we need to do, now we have created this uh, palette, we need to click the hamburger menu, then click manage palette, and we need to install node red dashboard. I already installed this one, but you need to install this one before uh, we proceed. If you have done that, we need to import and paste the just selected, well, gibberish and click import and place it over here. Now, this will work, but only if you have uh, installed Node-RED on the same device as your uh, MQTT server is running and you, uh, 
there is, uh, they assume you do not use any authentication on your MQTT. If you have followed my videos, you ha will have authentication and you maybe have your MQTT server on another device. So we need to change a couple of things in this flow. So let's start with the first one. And we need to, we want to edit the subflow template. So you get here by clicking on it and then edit subflow template. And then we are over here. And all the MQTT things, uh, well, I don't know how you call these things, but all the MQTT things uh, with uh, which you can recognize by this sign over here. We need to edit those ones by double clicking and we need to edit the server. So we click the that sign and type in your IP address of your MQTT uh, broker followed by the port and we use, if you use uh, authentication go to the security tab and do that for you. Type in your username and password then click update and done. Now this one is edited but the pairing notification has one two so you need to edit that one the same way the rename devices has one over here which you need to edit the remove device subflow has two of them which you need to edit the network map also has two which you need to edit then we have the logging level which also has one you need to add it. The status also has one. You need to edit that one too. And the devices finally has two of them which you need to edit. If you have done that, it is all active. And we can go to the UI, which is the IP address of your Raspberry Pi colon 1880 slash UI. If we go over there, we will have our Node-RED dashboard and I need to enable the right one for me because I wasn't going to... Uh, one crucial step we need also need to take is uh, we need to click deploy. Uh, otherwise, uh, it wouldn't deploy the changes we had made to our MQTT settings. But now in our admin panel, we can see all of the connected devices. We can rename devices. So for instance, this one uh, is a door sensor for me. And it has this gibberish name. So I will never know which one this is. But uh, if I go into my domotics server and I go into my devices and check for my Zigbee to MQTT devices. We can see, uh, let's see some Zigbee over here. I have a button which has this ID, this ID, which ends with CC 911. If we go into the dashboard, we can also see one uh, let's see, CC911, that's this one, this that button. So now I need to look up over here, well, which one I'm searching for, and then over here, and then I can do something. But you can rename it by typing in this gibberish and giving it a logical name. You can also edit the permit join, which we can also do from Domotics, and we can remove devices, which is uh, the the one thing uh, why I myself installed this to remove devices from the network. Because from Domotics, you cannot remove the devices from the net uh, from the network, uh, but you can do it from this admin panel, which has well just a convenient interface for managing the interface instead of, uh, well, managing some pesky MQTT messages. So I hope this will help you. Uh, 
I hope you liked this video. Give a like, subscribe if you want to, and I hope to see you next time.